Hi guys, and welcome to another kit review. Okay, so today we're having a look at a kit from Mini Art. As you can see, kit number is 35572. It is in 135th scale, and it is their railway tools and equipment. Okay, part of their buildings and accessories series. Okay, this kit came out in 2018. Okay, and if anyone, any, anyone who's watched my videos knows, I do have a fair bit of rolling stock so I thought I'd just pick this kit up it was on special it normally runs for around 16 17 dollars Australian this one cost me around about 11 so saved myself about five bucks thereabouts so that's not too bad and what you get is literally what you see a couple of sleepers shovel and spade various tools oil cans railway lantern a couple of buckets wheelbarrow with a couple more um, tools, pickaxe, etc. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Okay, so what you see on the front is exactly what you get. On the sides, a couple of advertising milk cans or milk churns, depending on what you want to call them. And this is the East European home stuff. Interesting wording, home stuff. Just a table, chairs, and usual dining ware, etc., that you might find in an early 20th century Eastern European home. Usual warnings 14 plus mini arts address in Ukraine. And on the other side, just a usual Ukrainian, Russian, English. Kit contains railway tools and equipment, can be painted, paint and glue not included, 14 plus. Okay, on the back, you'll see sprue layout okay clear parts you do get the the lenses for the lantern and your assembly painting instructions okay so wheelbarrow sleepers the most complex part is probably the lantern which is made up of six parts plus a clear and a red part and your usual other tools like oil cans etc the buckets you will have to make the handles out of wire that you, that you supply yourself that's no biggie okay and the usual color call outs Vallejo, Mr. Color, Life Color, Tamiya, Testers etc etc okay so that's the box that's exactly what you get all this stuff let's have a look and see what it actually looks like okay one bag of sprues um, the colors just a couple of rubber bands to hold the whole thing together so let's chop her open yes we'll chop her open now mini art bags are notoriously thin and I'd, I hate to say it but I'm pretty sure a baby could tear these open. So yes, that's a rubber band. Okay. And that's the other rubber band. So what you get is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sprues plus two little clear parts. All right. So let's move most of these out of the way. And we'll have a look at the biggest brew first. Okay, so let's have a look at the first brew. And this one is, as you can see, the wheelbarrow. It does have some moulding attachments that need to be removed. Nice wood grain texture on the front and bottom. There's your wheel. So fairly simple, fairly straightforward construction wood grain texture on both sides which is really nice and some really nice solid bolt detail and that will come up nice with a wash on it okay so this is a fairly straightforward easy kit to build Next one out is your buckets. Really nice detail. These are the bottom of the buckets, by the way. And it's side molded. 
so you don't have a seam you only have attachment points really nicely cleanly side molded so they're really nice buckets you can use those almost anywhere next up we've just got this is just a few tools welding torch spanners etc the attachment points on the sprues are really fine so you shouldn't have a problem removing those okay really nicely done and quite nice detail too okay so the other side so yeah detail on both sides really sharp and no flash Next sprue is just the shovel and spade, pickaxe, etc. Again, some of the attachment points, like that one, and on the sides there. A bit tricky to get off without too, doing too much damage, but overall, especially long handles like this, a bit of care, shouldn't have a problem. And again, really nice detail, very sharp. okay and last is this one so this is your lantern okay so that's a warning wand by the way and this is a little horn that you would blow or well, actually no that's a little horn that you would put against the track to listen for oncoming trains and they've side molded it so you've got a little dip in it that's really nice actually really nicely done okay really finely done and they've obviously put a lot of effort into this to get it right okay so i do like that And almost the last two sleepers. Put that one away. Okay, sorry that went out of focus. These do have wood grain texture all the way around, and it's a much finer and more scale accurate wood grain texture than you find on their uh, railway railway track uh, kits. So I do like that. That's just a couple of add-ons you could throw almost anywhere on any diorama lastly and I'll give you a close up to these because they're very hard to see now see I can't even get them in focus those are your clear lenses for the lantern and unfortunately the don't know if you can see it the clear one has a spot right in the middle of it and that's the way it came out of the little bag so that's I don't know where that came from not to worry I'm sure we can deal with that okay and that guys is it that is mini arts railway tools and equipment set okay so for anyone who's got a railway track set or a any kind of rolling stock this is probably just a, a nice little add-on to complete your shelf display or diorama okay that brings us to the end of this one thank you for watching thanks for your comments and subscribing and as usual until next time take it easy and I'll see you later